So, do you have like a favourite ninja? Yeah, Ryu Hayabusa. Izuna drops all day, baby. It is often said that violence is never the answer, which is presumably why in the 1980s a lone ninja decided that a more suitable way to settle disagreements would be sick-ass dance battles. Start off with, are we actually talking about a ninja? No, because I can already see people complaining in the comments. We are not talking about an actual ninja. We are talking about a guy called Willy Ninja, which is just as funny to me and just as awesome, but I hope people can forgive me for calling the article on the subsequent video what I did, because what else was I supposed to call this? other than the ninja who invented sick-ass dance battles. And also, it's technically correct, which is, as we all know, the best kind of correct. But before we move on to Willy Ninja, have you watched any ninja movies or played any video games starring ninjas? Not recently, no. Not, not recently, like... so what does that mean? Well... Is that not at all when you try to be diplomatic, you know, I love sick ninja shit? The only ones that I can think of at the minute was when I used to play um, Spyro when I was younger. There was, a, there was a level. Is it full of ninjas? You'd walk into a room and you could see them hiding in the corner at the top and then just jump down like, hi! Well, I thought you were going to talk about it. If you play PS1, you, like, do you like play Tenchu at all? No. I'm oh man, Tenchu one. Shadow Assassin. I think it's like Rikamaru and Ayane. Those characters are so badass. Because that game had one of the most comprehensive cheat systems where you basically got access to the debug menu and could spawn in anything you wanted. Yeah. So what I would do is, oh, your mission is go assassinate this like ancient warlord. I'm like, well, I'm going to assassinate him the only way like, you know, this ninja knows how, by spawning 80 bowls of poison rice in his bedroom <laughs> and then just unleashing a live bear. <laughs> so you see him having a fist fight with a bear, gets injured and then just goes and eats poison rice and dies. Like, there it is. There's the Shadow Assassin of Legend, right? <laughs> How did I not play this game? So like, that is the best jutsu ever to summon bear. <laughs> oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, does that mean you didn't watch Naruto at all either? No, I was never a fan. Does that mean no. we can't, oh, so I can't talk about the Rotley Gara fight? Oh. You can, you can, I, I just can, can't but it's, it's not as fun if people are, are getting hyped with me, I'm so. so sorry. Let's move on. <laughs> can we at least put the clip in? Can we, can we put the clip? Because it, has, it is my favourite power up moment yep. in anything mm -hmm. and it's the rock lee guy you must have seen the clip it's my favorite like just like oh you you don't fucked up now boy mm -hmm. where it's oh yeah like rock lee take off your training weights you told me never to do that yeah it's a special occasion um and he just holds out like, oh what are those like those pussy ass little weights and they drop because like a nuclear explosion as they hit the ground this is just by dropping a couple of pounds of weight <laughs> And then he just like instant transmissions behind his head and just axe kicks his face off. It's so good. Anyway, Willy Ninja. Willy won't he? The Willy won't he Ninja. Try saying that five times fast. Willy Ninja won't he Ninja. Willy Ninja won't he Ninja. Willy Ninja won't he Ninja. I almost did it. <laughs> oh my. Is that like Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry? Oh, don't stop me on that. Oh, she, lorry, sells, she sells on the seashores. Oh, what's the other one? Um, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck could chuck wood? I know that one because I'm better at pronouncing like, uh, the hard K sound. It's also Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Right then. Where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper pick? Hey, not bad. Right, there's also like an answer to the how much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck could chuck wood. But I don't know what it is. And I think we've said in the video before as well, like, yeah, Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair, so Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't Fuzzy Wuzzy. It's an impressive display of verbal linguistics. But let's talk about this Willy Ninja guy. So, who is Willy Ninja? Well, in addition to having a frankly fantastic fucking name, he is a, uh, a well-known figure in the collective spheres of choreographed dancing battles and like underground gay culture. And he is noted as being the guy who pioneered the, at the time, like underground dance style of voguing. And are you familiar with voguing at all? Isn't it the term where you just basically pose? Strike a pose, yeah. If you've seen RuPaul's Drag Race, you've seen Bogan. It's that style of dance. It is a highly stylized and expressive form of dance that revolves almost entirely around striking cool ass poses. The more flamboyant, expressive, and stylized, the better. And I would argue that the Power Rangers are masters of Vogan. So have you ever seen like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers yeah. movie? I've seen like clips of like the TV show. <laughs> Yeah, and there is never a moment in those shows where they are not just striking a, a sick-ass pose. My favourite example being in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, where I think it's like uh, Aisha or Kimberly is on the ground, and one of the other Power Rangers comes up and goes, don't worry, I'll help you. And, that, and that's it, that's how he helps them up. 
He does a full 360 spin and they grab onto his bicep and he pulls them up. It's like, this is so dumb. I love it. And I just found out it's a form of dancing. I don't know why I'm just suddenly thinking of um, Dragon Ball Z when they do the fusion. Okay, Ginyu Force. The Ginyu Force, again, <laughs> masters of fucking like Vogue. Like the Ginyu Force, like Captain Ginyu himself has like pioneered several forms of posing. I think there was even a moment in the Dragon Ball Fighters game where like Gotenks and the Ginyu Force like have a conversation about posing and about how good it is. Yeah. And Captain Ginyu's like, shows your pose and he does like a sick, I think he does a dab or something like that. Yeah. And like Captain Ginyu goes, that's a weak ass pose. You never gonna like, you know, style on enemy with that shit. Introducing Gotenks, superhero justice. Well, how about it? Pretty awesome, right? No good. There's a moment in like the abridged series of like Dragon Ball yeah. where they go back in time, story of Bardot and they meet Chill, Freezer's ancestor, and he has a line that I quote to this day every time I play, like, you know, Dragon Ball. And that is where I like, chilled on his deathbed and he goes, please tell my ancestors to teach all of our elite fighting forces dance choreography. <laughs> Got to style on our opponents. Oh, and just dies. He's like, yes, that's it. That's exactly what he's doing. So in that vein niche, before we continue, any characters from fiction that you like deeply, deeply respect for this, uh, their swagger and their style? Because I have many in I my head. I think an obvious one would be Crash Bandicoot. In like those, fuck, those fucking moves. That, that dance, like, never before has like, a Bandicoot broke down a beat that sick. It's unreal. And the fact that it's apparently inherently genetic to, like, you know, the Crash line, the lineage, where, like, Coco can do the exact same dance, seemingly, like, you know, move for move at will. Yeah. So good. Like, the ability of, like, who's ever seen such a powerful Bandicoot? Well... I think mine is going to be from Agretzko, and it's where Gori Chan and I, is that, oh, I forgot the female, what's the other female in that? I think it's Washimi. Yeah. And the, when they're first introduced and they're doing like the lesbian power strut, like well, their theme song, like dun dun dun, gets on the corner, like, man, our baddest bitch in the room walk really takes it out on your back. It's like, don't show weakness, not in front of the lesser people, or something like that. And it's just so good. Like that idea of like, I must remain flawless and composed at all times because like, you know what, I'm in a male dominated field and I need to show these motherfuckers what's up. But before we move on, like people are already yelling at me for not mentioning the gods of posing. Like, it's a series that revolves entirely around posing, more so than Power Rangers and that's Jojo. So put in any clip from Jojo of just any awesome pose and we'll move on. So bring it back to the main topic of yes. the video. Why is it called voguing? Well, the reason it's called voguing is like the idea behind like you know the dance is to like you know strike like you know really stylized like you know fashionable cool poses. And the idea is that while you're dancing, like you're midway through, you stop, strike a pose as if you're going to be on the cover of a magazine like Vogue, and that's the idea behind it. And the subject of today's video, Mr. Like you know Willy Ninja is like recognized as the pioneer of this dance style because like while it existed before he came onto the scene he's known as the guy who like basically turned it into what it is today and that is fucking awesome because he took inspiration from a bafflingly wide array of like sources from Fred Astaire to Egyptian hieroglyphics and there's like he's in the documentary Paris is Burning and there's this amazing scene of him showing off like this is what voguing is and he is he is crouching like a full squat while moving across the dance floor, while like moving his hands in like every direction at once. And it's like, this is how you Vogue, what? And just moves like he's made out of like fucking rubber or something. It's like, what? How did you do that? And he's like, yeah, this is it. This is the dance style, I'm like fucking bring it. Ninja, ninjas hit hard, they hit fast, and invisible. The idea is like, you know, obviously the, the more flamboyant and excessive and crazy your pose is, like the better your dance is seen as being. So you mentioned dance battles yes and like you know willy ninja but like playing an integral role in like the creation of what amounts to like the the sick ass dance battle and as you might imagine uh, the 1980s underground clubbing scene within gay culture was fairly extreme and physical confrontations was noted as being like you know commonplace and ninja didn't like this because he thought well like you know we're supposed to like you know we're all on the same side here like we, as if we're not having enough trouble you know, trying to like, you know, get society to accept. Now we're fighting amongst themselves. A better way to solve these problems would be a dance battle. 
specifically a voguing dance battle. How does a voguing dance battle work exactly? Yeah, because apparently like, there are several kinds of like vogue dance battles, but like, in its, the traditional way is that like two people will go onto a dance floor and like, it's like crowd participation is very much encouraged. And obviously like the crowd and like, you know, the, the volume of their cheers and or jeers will like, you know, tell who's doing the best. And the idea is, is to use your sick dance moves and your cool poses to box your opponent in. And what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to physically box them in using your poses until they have to like, you know, go into a corner and they're like down on the floor, at which point you've like achieved dancing dominance over them. And obviously like, the more, like the better you are at this thing, obviously if you're boxed in by somebody and you're good at posing, you can like, you know, you pose your way out. And that's how the battle commences. It's basically like, it's like fencing or some shit like that. And yeah. it sounds dumb, but trust me, it's fucking awesome because it basically just involves two people just ginyu forcing their way across a dance floor while like thumping techno plays. It's so good. Makes me think like, cause uh, dance battles are quite big in like movies and films. Yeah, step it up, bring it on. And then the, the scene I'm thinking of is American Pie, The Wedding. Okay. You've seen that? Yeah, yeah, it's where Stifler has the dance battle. And the reason that can be a joke in that film is like, you know, thanks to guys like Willie Ninja who went, no, like, let's not have a fist fight in the car park. Let's just have a dance battle, solve it without violence, and also, you know, put on a show for people. And it encourages you, like, you know, to get better, like, you know, self discipline, control over your body. And that's fucking awesome. And I, like, there is nothing better to me than a dance battle. Like, let's fucking, like, best dance battle. So I was going to say Stifler. Yeah, I think that is probably the best one. Because he comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Because he's just where he just walks in and goes, hey, like, call me the stiff mice. And if he doesn't realise he's in a gay bar, and everyone laughs at him. Yeah. And he walks off and he comes back in. And, like, music. the music comes like, ah. And it's like, never tell anyone what I did here. <laughs> just like, I am now going to just, like, open your ass sideways with a pool cue. <laughs> You, you are not ready for the sick beat down. I'm about to lay upon you with these moves. As someone just like assumes like, you know, Power Rangers fight, so good. There's also the um, dance off in White Chicks, I think it is. Yeah, which is just <laughs> fucking terrible. But I like that idea though, because the, like, the joke behind that is, oh, it's, it's two white girls trying to have a dance off with two black dudes. It's like, these white girls ain't got no style. And you just like see them just like really do these like really desperate like you know 90s era hip hop moves like basically straight out of like Vanilla Ice's like greatest hits. And they're just busting out all the coolest shit you've ever seen. My favourite thing about that film is just Terry Crews. My favourite part of that film is when um, he tries to drug uh, one of the sisters. And yeah. Um, he ends up drugging himself and then he starts dancing on the dance floor with a whistle. And yeah, then, Terry Crews with the whistle. Like, he's like creating gifts before gifts were a thing on it. It's so good. And then he ends up with that guy yeah. in bed with that guy and he, that guy ends up in a wheelchair. He just has that, I just love that, la that line from Terry Crews of, you know what they say, right? It's when you go black, you end up in a wheelchair. It's like, no, no one <laughs> says that, Terry Crews. <laughs> Oh man. The bit um, where. Um, is this just the on, end of the video now? It's just talking about white chicks. What a terrible film that is. They're on the beach and he like stands over. Yeah, and hey just there, white like... chocolate. You better look after yourself in case you melt. <laughs> oh my god. What happened to the sun? <gasps> Easy, white chocolate. I wouldn't want you to melt. 